Did you know that mobile devices account for approximately half of web traffic according to this study done by Statista? And did you know that a load time from one to five seconds increases the probability of a bounce rate to increase by 90%? Now that we have your attention, let's talk about 11 proven ways to speed up your website specifically on a mobile device. First things first is you will need to get a baseline test to know just what your site speed is. For this, we recommend using Google PageSpeed Insights. All you do is paste your site in and just give it a few seconds and it will give you back a score. Now, if your heart sank after seeing the results, good news for you is that we're going to get right into these 11 tips. Tip number one is to use a responsive WordPress theme. What this means is that your site will look good on a mobile phone no matter which device is being used. Now, how you will know is to check the customizer or options of your theme. For example, Astra offers a mobile view when building a custom header. Or if you're using page builders like Divi or Elementor, they have a responsive section to alter the page based on certain devices. Tip number two is to enable mobile caching. Mobile caching is a common technique to reduce the load on an application and its servers. The goal here is to reduce bandwidth usage, the network perceived lag, and even battery consumption. Our plugin, WP Rocket, will allow you to implement a mobile cache for every document that gets cached as well. Tip number three is to optimize images for mobile. This is the process of creating and delivering high quality images in a format that will increase user engagement on the user's phone. Here are the techniques that you should follow. First, reduce images to save bandwidth. 640 by 320 pixels is a good standard to follow. Second, compress images to make your files smaller. For instance, this photo went from 517 kilobytes to 70.3 kilobytes and there wasn't even a huge dip in quality either. And number three is to choose the correct file format, which is WebP. In studies done, WebP offers 25% smaller file sizes and it loads faster. And if you're looking for a plugin to help you do all of these tips, try installing a Magify today. Tip number four is to implement lazy loading on your images and your videos. Now, lazy loading is the last key of image optimization on a mobile device. Lazy loading script delays the loading of an image that is not being viewed by the visitors just yet. Now, you could add custom code to these files, or if you already have WP Rocket installed, just double check you have the feature turned on. Tip number five is to optimize image delivery with a CDN. Optimizing image delivery is a key step in improving the mobile page speed. Now, you may need multiple servers to increase the speed of your rendered data anywhere in the world. And that is exactly what a CDN will be doing for you. Tip number six is to improve time to first byte. The idea is to display something ASAP to the visitors on the mobile device so that they don't perceive your website as loading slow. So you will need to have a fast hosting provider supporting gzip compression if possible, and also a cache plugin to reduce the server's processing time. If you guessed it, a plugin like WP Rocket can help you clean your database, activate gzip compression, cache your pages, and much more. I can't lie, there isn't much we do not do when it comes to page speed. Tip number seven is to eliminate render blocking resources. When PageSpeed Insights tells you to eliminate render blocking resources, it means that you should avoid loading unnecessary resources at the top of your site's code. The solution here is to deliver critical JavaScript and CSS inline and defer all non-critical JavaScript and styles. You can also remove the unused code to save some extra loading time as well. Now, if everything that I just said to you sounds like complete nonsense, essentially that your browser needs to prioritize what it will load first. And luckily for you, WP Rocket can help you load JavaScript deferred and remove unused CSS. You can also delay JavaScript execution, which is often more than not the main reason for a slow mobile site. Tip number eight is to reduce page weight. Would you believe me if I told you that a lighter page would load quicker on a mobile device? Because you should. See, although you may have all these cool videos, images, styles, and fonts, it may look cool to the user, but that's only if they stick around for the 30 seconds that it's going to take for all of this stuff to load. Now, the best way to make your page lighter is to optimize your images, implement text compression, also known as gzip, and combine and minify the code. And if you haven't guessed it yet, our plugin is the easiest way to implement gzip to minify and compress CSS and the JavaScript files. Tip number nine is to get rid of whatever might challenge the mobile devices. Getting back to all those fun designs of sliders, animations, or pop-ups for your mobile visitors, if you want all of those elements to load, then you'll end up with an increased page size, an increased load time, and a higher number of HTTP requests. So what you need to do here is keep it simple and opt 
opt for static images. Tip number 10 is to have your full page cache delivered through a CDN. On top of caching, you can use a content delivery network service, just like Cloudflare's APO service. Imagine that your page takes two seconds to load in Paris, four seconds in New York, and it takes six seconds in Sydney. When using a CDN, the page will load equally no matter where you are. Tip number 11 is to manage and display your ads properly. It's best practice to never display any ads above the fold and lazy load them until they reach the viewport. You should also build responsive ads to display them well on mobile with a responsive call to actions so users feel like interacting. A great way to do this is with a plugin called Advanced Ads Pro to control when and where to display your ads on your mobile site. Now, hopefully with these 11 tips, you are able to go and speed up your website for mobile devices. Like we said earlier in this video, based on how site speed can affect your conversion rate, this is something you definitely want to be optimized and you can't afford for it to not be. And don't forget, if any of this ever seems too technical or too much like a headache, our plugin can help you out with just a few clicks in just a few minutes. As always, see you in the next video and goodbye.